So there's a lot of uh, talks about the wheels. A lot of customers just come back to ask what is the actual PSI that needs to be used for these wheels. So the maximum pressure that these wheels can hold is 85. How do you tell? There, it's written on the wall of the tires. You can see that, but yeah. So the max pressure will be stated 85, but the optimal pressure that we always want to put in will be around 70. 70 PSI is more than enough for your tires. 85 and above is going to have a good chance of your tires exploding. So you always want to keep it below the maximum pressure. Okay, so 70 PSI is the answer to what should be the pressure of your tires. Other than that, always look for wear and tear in your tires to make sure that your ride is always optimal. Make sure that these treads over here are not faded out. So after excessive riding, your treads, your walls may be faded out, may be cracked. If you do find those in your wheels, do replace them because those will affect your performance in riding, especially during wet rides, and you don't want that. <laughs> and just a quick uh, what's that demonstration of how to pump up uh, Presta tube tires, which is uh, different than the traditional ones. Your traditional ones that you see are shorter, shorter, shorter head head valves are the thicker ones. These are Presta valves. So these Presta valves would actually require you to, you will see the valve will look like this with a little, with a little uh, what we, round notch, notch yeah, that you can just twist and loosen. When you loosen it and you push it to the side or when you push it down, air will come out. So this is your first step to loosen that notch that you see. And after that, you leave it like that first and you get your pump. So to fit, the valve and the pump itself, you will need to, if you're holding on to a current, if your current pump that you're using is a shorter head pump, then get an adapter and then you'll be able to pump up the tire itself. The adapter will look something like this, which I can show you, just give me a minute. The adapter will be included in our integrated seat pump, which would be a gold tube. Hold on. Uh. The adapter looks something like this if you are using a shorter head. So you'll just have a rubber coating in the middle. And what you will do with this is attach the smaller, the thinner part of the adapter into the shorter head and the thicker part into the valve. And then you pump accordingly from there. So after you insert, and then you pump accordingly from there. As for a pump that already has a Presta valve, or if you're using our foot pump, there are two points of entry. There is the shorter, which has this little hex inside its pump, and there is this fully uh, empty hole that you see, which will be where we put our Presta, which will where we put our Presta valve over here. So I can just quickly demonstrate. So once we insert that in here, we lock it and stop the air from coming in. And then we pump accordingly. After we finish pumping to 70 PSI, unlock, take it out of the pump. And important part, tighten the notch. If not, if all the effort that you put into pumping your tires will be wasted <laughs> and then you close it back up. So that will be done for the wheels. So always remember now, uh, the answer for your questions of what is the optimal pressure to pump your tires up to. So max pressure, look at it, 80, 85 PSI. Don't go to 85 PSI, that's way too hard. You apply a little bit more pressure, for example, during your ride, you go over a bump, tires will explode. So what you wanna do, is set it to 70 PSI. 70 PSI is optimal, it's a good hardness for your tires, it will make your ride very enjoyable and uh, problems free pretty much. <laughs>